Hello friends, welcome to Inspire Tech. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its controls. Today we are going to see about substation control panel and in that particularly we will be learning about 11 kV panel alarm circuit. By watching our today's video you can also learn about troubleshooting in the alarm circuit. Okay, so now let's get started. So this is the 11 kV panel board. We have already discussed about this kind of panel board in our PT selection video. So there are incomers on both the ends of the panel and then there are different outgoing feeders. They are connected with the bus coupler and adapter system as shown over here. The bus bar arrangement is something like this and we have PTs on both the incomers like this. Okay, so basic alarm or indication circuit, basic aim of that circuit is to provide indication of some kind of fault or some kind of tripping that has occurred in any of, of this panel and once it indicates that the fault has occurred we can accept the annunciation we can accept the alarm okay and know the cause of the tripping or the fault or location of the in which panel the fault has occurred right so this is the basic how 11k panel board looks like this and this at the end we have income these are different kinds of outgoing feeders and this is the bus coupler and adapter over here this kind of electronic footers are available right now in the uh, panel okay so this is electronic footer or you can call it as electronic bell so when this rings it rings when any relay operate on any interruption basically in case of any tripping this will be operated second when there is a dc supply fail fail in the panel again you will hear this and when there is ac supply fail in the panel you can hear this electronic footer so now uh, this is the outside of an 11 kv panel over here you can see this three are the electronic buzzers about which this is the alarm circuit uh, we will be discussing in today's video this is the inside panel inside of the panel in this we have this alarm cancellation button push button over here you can see this it looks something like this you accepting this alarm means we have to press this push button and we can accept this alarm and the basic function for the wiring of this kind of electronic buzzers we have a PLAR relay 74 a b and c this are the very important relays to do the wiring for this alarm circuit so PLAR relay PLAR is the make of this relay so PLA PLAR relay this is somewhat it looks like it is this is the base of this relay we have to fix this on the panel and and this is the actual relay so this gets fixed inside the base nowadays we are having this kind of PLAR relays also in some panels this kind of and this is a micro relay so basically inside the PLAR relay we have an operating coil and we have few NO and NC contacts as you can see over here this is the operating coil and this is this NC contact and this is the NO contact like this. So whenever the coil gets operated this NO gets converted to NC and this NC gets converted into NO. Okay so this is the operating coil. This is the NO contact and this one is this NC contact. Okay. Now, first of all, we will see this alarm circuit. So basically, this is the outside of the panel and this is the inside wiring of the panel. This is the PLAR relay. Okay. And now to do the wiring. Uh, we will consider the wiring based as in the uh, Jyoti Mac panel uh, circuit diagram. Okay, so we will follow that diagram and we will understand this 11K panel alarm circuit today. And 
also we will take the reference of this plat relay drawing that is given over here okay so first of all any real any circuit or any wiring requires positive and negative supply so j1 is positive j2 is negative dc okay now from the positive and negative before starting the alarm circuit there is always a provision of fuse the fuse names as mentioned in the jyoti mech panel diagrams are f14 and f15 okay so now for this electronic buzzer to operate it will require positive and negative supply so we will provide the negative supply directly from this fuse over here and we will provide the positive supply from a contact of the pla relay okay so we will be using a contact or uh, 74 b indicates a pla relay and the contact numbers are 6 and 14 so you can see over here 6 and 14 that is no contact okay now if we are using this contact then we have to know that there will be operating coil as well so the operating coil is connected over here you can see for 74 b so negative supply is already reaching over here and we will have to now provide it a positive supply so from where will we give a positive supply so you know that when does this electronic hooter will buzz or when will it be operated it will be operated in case of say some fault or tripping has occurred inside the panel so if the tripping has occurred that indicates that this either it will be operated in a relay as op over current and earth fault relay or the master relay has tripped okay so one of the contact of master relay is 33 okay uh, 33 indicates the master relay for this diagram and 51 indicates that it is the contact from over current and earth fault relay okay so now as you can see in case of tripping this 33 will be closed or say 51 is closed and due to this this positive will be extended to this 74b operating coil once this coil is energized this contact will be closed and the circuit will be completed and this hooter will start buzzing so that indicates that master relay has tripped or due to some overcurrent and earth fault relay has tripped due to the tripping you can know this hooter is buzzing okay now in what happens in many cases is this gets operated just momentarily say uh, if there is a tripping and this has closed uh, then it will again be open in some time so it doesn't get this contact will not be closed for a long term so now what will happen in that case if this contact gets open then this coil will not be energized if this is not energized this contact will open and the buzzer will stop itself so it will not indicate in a continuous manner that there is some fault only for some time the hooter will buzz and that it then it will automatically stop buzzing okay so what we need is this hooter to buzz continuously until we attend it or until we accept it okay so now to attend that problem what we will do is we will use another contact of this 74b okay so once this coil is energized okay and this this contact will get closed this contact will get closed and the positive will be continuously extended even if these two contacts are open right so this is how the circuit will be complete and the hooter will buzz continuously right as one problem is solved now let us move to another part once the hooter is buzzing we will want to accept the alarm using the push button as we have seen right so if we are we have to use a push button right so we will to in in order to use that push button now we will use one more contact from another another pla relay that is 74 c that is a close contact okay and if we are using this contact then that means it will have its operating coil too operating coil is getting negative over here and the positive will be given through this push button right now once this push button is closed 
this coil is energized and this will this contact will be open as this contact will be open positive will not reach to this hooter and the hooter will stop buzzing right so if we whenever you press this push button this contact will be open and your hooter will stop working right so that is how this push button will be operated but now again the problem will arise as you leave the push button okay as you are not pushing it this contact will be again closed right and again it will be getting this positive over here okay so now we need another contact we will use another contact of the same PLA relay 74C okay we are using this contact see then this we are using two contacts one is NO and the other one is NC now let us understand what happens see whenever you press this push button this coil is energized this contact now moves from 7 to 3 11 and 3 will be connected that means 74B will stop energizing will be de-energized as it will not get this positive supply that means this contact will be open okay and your problem is solved right so we will use this contacts from 74 C PLA relay okay we are using this three contacts and from 74 B we will be using this two contacts now let us understand this entire thing that I have discussed with you through an animation that will help you understand this circuit better in this similar fashion you can add in any number of contacts in parallel over here as you can see okay and we have also taken two contacts to TB SB9 and SB10 at SB9 and SB10 what we are doing is we are doing parallel of all the fiddles of the 11 k panel board okay at, through this TB numbers only so at this TB numbers only all the wiring in all the panels for the alarm and annunciation circuit are connected in the parallel for each feeder so if there is any problem in any feeder you can check this SB9 and SB10 okay alarm circuit contacts are given through here only now let us see the animation for this alarm circuit so the relay will first get operated due to which one of the contacts will be closed right so when the relay is operated you can see one contact will be closed 51 okay because of this what will happen is this coil 74b will be energized okay and once this contact it is energized it its both contacts will be operated you can see okay and both these contacts are operated now as the coil is energized and it is uh, this contact has closed so it will con be continues to be energized okay and this is also closed okay so what will happen is now our hooter will start buzzing right the hooter has start with started buzzing so what we have to do is we have to accept this alarm and using this push button okay and that is alarm cancellation push button so what will happen once we push this button so when we press this push button again this will complete the path positive will reach over here to this coil of 74 c right c this coil is energized and as this coil is energized what will happen is its contact will be operated so this contact will be operated and once this contact is operated this hooter will stop buzzing right and along with this contact another contact for the same operating coil will also operate so you can it will now it will now move from 11 to 3 okay right and because of that this coil will not get the positive supply and it will be de-energized right once it is de-energized what will happen is its both contact will again be operated 
okay it will come back to its normal no condition okay and once this I, we press the push button this stops buzzing then we have to release this press but push button and as we release this push button what will happen this coil will be again de-energized as it will be de-energized its both contacts will come into normally closed condition NC condition right so this is how a complete 11 kV panel alarm circuit comes back to its normal condition and how it is operated we have seen it using an animated video this is the circuit diagram about which we have discussed today as we have discussed when will be the alarm circuit buzzing or when the alarms will be buzzing in three conditions first was whenever there is some kind of tripping as indication of the fault the alarms will be buzzing then it will also be operated in case of DC failure circuit or if there is AC failure circuit so what we have discussed in our today's video is when we have any kind of tripping in the circuit so similarly in the same way there if there is a DC circuit the PLA relays that will operate will be 74 and 74 a and for AC failure circuit the PLA relays that are used are 74 D and 74 E so that's all about today's video let us know in what you want to know in the next videos please comment and let us know all your queries also and keep watching thank you